everybody, Reloaded here, and uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Motion Flex V2.1 um, while ISO disk. And if you don't want to have the trouble of making this yourself, you can go ahead and buy one from me from my website. The link will be in the description. And if you don't want to buy a uh, entire disk, then you can rent lobbies from me which is in my bio on my gamertag. Alright, so enough of me, let's hop into the tutorial. And this was a tutorial request from someone I was hosting a lobby for, but nobody cares about that, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So you're going to want to download ABGX360, Image Burn, and WX360, Motion Flex V2 mods, and all the WoW ISOs, there's seven of them. Uh, and I will have all of these in the description. Okay. So. First of all, you're going to want to download all of those things. And go ahead and make a new folder. Name it WOW ISO. Right click on part 1. Click extract files. And extract them into the WOW ISO. And you'll get these two things. Alright. Now, once you got that done open up ABGX360 excuse me go to auto fix tab click level 3 and then check that click right here find your card world of war click open click launch alright now that's going to do a stealth check on it and that'll be good alright so once you got that done open up WX360 Whoops. alright let that load up. Here it is. Okay. Now click right here to open up a file. Go ahead and find your file where you put your WoW ISO. And click on it. Click open. Okay. Now that this is all up, scroll down a little bit. Whoa. Scroll down a bit fast there. Alright. Now. Uh, get your screen so you can see code post GFX FF common FF and default XEX. So uh, click on default XEX, right click, and click extract file. And you're gonna want to extract it to your desktop, and you'll see it right there. All right, now you're gonna want to click on code post GFX FF, right click, click replace. and go to the motion flex v2 um, files and replace it with the code post gfx.ff so click on it and click open I'm not gonna do that because I already did it alright so click on common ff click replace and <laughs> Sorry about that, that was my dad. I don't know if you guys heard that, you probably did. A little weird. Whatever. So, and then replace that with common.ff. Okay. Now go to default XEX, click replace, and replace it with the default XEX that in the beginning of this we put at the desktop. Replace that. Alright, now that you got that done, go ahead and open up ABGX360. Go to Auto Fix tab, go to Level 3, and then check Adjust SSV1 Angle, blah blah blah. Get your code, wow, and click Launch. But this time, when you do it, there's going to be some red and some yellow. And it's going to say, like, CNC, CRC does not match, or something like that. That's good, that means you're doing it right. Now open up Image Burn, click Run. Let's just give that a second to load. Alright, now you're going to want to go to Tools, Settings. Alright, now go to the right tab. That's right up here. And you're going to want to copy these exact settings or else it will not burn your um, disk right. Uh, so your Xbox won't read it. 
So make sure you copy these exact settings, take a picture of it with your phone, and then look at it and fill it in. So once you got that, click OK. Click Write Image File to Disk. And you do need to be able to have a disk drive in your computer, and it needs to be able to burn uh, dual layer disks. OK. Now click this little uh, search button right here. Whoops. And then find your WoW ISOs. Now this time, don't click on the 7 mil one. Click on the 1 kilobyte one. Open that up. Now make sure your write speed is at 2.4x and copies is at 1. You can verify if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Now when you put your disk in, you're going to need DVD plus RDL Memorex disks. It doesn't have to be by Memorex, but I'm pretty sure Memorex might be the only one that makes DVD plus RDL. I'm sure there's other companies out there, but uh, I'll have a picture up right now. You can see what those look like. And I bought mine at Radio Shack. You can buy yours wherever you like, wherever your heart desires. So when you put your disc in, this will be embossed or embossed, whatever. And you click right, and it'll spin up. It'll take about 45 minutes to do. And once you got that done, it'll say finished. You click OK. And then if you don't already know how to hot swap, click on my other video on how to hot swap. The link will be in the description along with uh, all the files that you'll need to mod. Uh, I really hope this video helps you guys. All right. Um. Peace.